using geometry and Pythagorean theorem to, to get the square roots, but uh, I've already showed uh, how the 30, 60, 90 square set square and the 45, 45, 90, but um, I'm going to take that a step further and um, these are the tools that you'd get in your standard drawing kit from school or you know, um, mechanical drawing, technical drawing, depends on. But I um, want to add uh, two basic tools to these, but not only that, but create the, uh, put these in the proper proportion where they should be. And that's very simple. And again, it continues with the Vesica Pisces, two circles. Uh, with their centre on each other's perimeter, but I'm going to do this on cardboard so it's a little bit more uh, durable. So we begin with a construction line, and we're going to make something like a Swiss Army knife for um, ratio rulers. construction line and you begin to put your pencil on the point line up the ruler straight edge um, I use a marked ruler but I'm using it as a straight edge so I'm not allowed to use the measurements to calculate your points on straight edge geometry so um, with these two lines now we've Effectively divided the radius, and before we step forward, um, with that, so we, and we have the same radius now. Put our compass on, on the center point, and just add a little arc there. Now. Here we put our compass point and it doesn't matter in what direction but we'll go this way. And we have another point. What we want to do now is find the centre between here and here. And so Two arcs. So now we've bisected the line from there to there and there to there is equal. Now we have one last adjustment, we put our compass back in the centre. We're now finding the half radius of the original circle, circles we drew. Circle some points that we're going to focus on. So both this and here. Uh, so O, uh, this is point O, point A, point B, point C, and that's point D. Now, we know we made an equilateral triangle from A, B, C, that's proven, and now A to O and O to B to D, you know, are of equal size because we created a, a circle. And now we can define that unit as one, that is one, and now we have the square root of two. And now from point O to B 
and then see we make another triangle and we have the square root of 3 because uh, uh, earlier this is 1, 2 and therefore that has to be 3 from point O to point E now O E C triangle Construction we made. That's what gave us this arc. Therefore, we can we know that firstly we had a hermetic triangle or a two to one triangle A O E. Square root of five. Therefore, this. set square on top of that we have two new the two one square root of five square and also a one to five ruler at five being at one point six one eight zero three three nine eight eight etc it goes up but uh, perfect five proportion and uh, added set square as well as bringing these to their proper propor pro proper proportions there is uh, usually not when they come in a set like that so there you go, hope you enjoy and of course Square root of five. 
two square root of three, all proportional to one. Okay, so we've drawn our shape and from there we've cut our template. It was a early small prototype that's foldable, same, but um, we have the bigger one and we're going to show how it connects to the set squares, to phi, golden mean, divine proportion, how it can be used also as a calculator and, and how to create a very special uh, ruler which serves as a, as a calculator, a compass and straight edge uh, calculator. So let's remove these. Uh, now, first of all, here we have a, a paper, a, a template one. But, so we can fold. Now fold it away into a pocket size little tool. Now. If I open the first layer, we have our 30, 60, 90, which is 1 by 2, 2 being the square root of 4, therefore we have a square root of 3. Again, 1, 1 gives us a square root of 2. And here we have now a new set square. The one, two square root of five set square. So we have some tops. You see how we come to there. And this also, um, the two by one triangle um, is a classic method of creating phi and square root of five plus one over two. We'll come to this later, but just to show the proof of what we've created. This gives us our 30, 60 set square. Now, these two come in a pair, but you see that they're not in proportion. So they're not as valuable as what they might be. But by creating This way, now, I have here the so what we have. So essentially, what we have here in this uh, little tool: one one square root of two, square root of three, square root of four being two, and square root of five. And not only that, they're all in proportion of forty five, forty five. Triangle, a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and um, 63.4 and sorry, 63.4, and no, you'll have to count. I can't remember that one at the moment, but that's what we have. These form the basis of a cool little calculator as well. But uh, come back over to the fully folded away version. So just slide this away and pocket size, wallet size, and how can we use this as a, uh, so I have a unmarked straight edge, we can use this firstly as a, to create uh, like, a, oh it's a cool little calculator, we can do some nice little tricks with it, and so we have a line and now we have the origin point, so now we have, it's a golden rec rectangle. 5 by 1, 1, 1, 1 over 5, which is equal to 5 minus 1. But first of all, we have 1 by 5, so we can use this as a rule. Let's begin with 1. And we have 5. Equals 
1.618038987 and onwards. So here we have one and then we have five. We've got these. One, five, this one you can see. Five and one. So this area, this sorry, length is essentially five minus one. So this zero zero point six one eight zero three three. It's I'll write that underneath here. Y minus one equals the, the cool thing is that one divided by five equals zero point six one eight zero three three one. Same thing. Right, so five one one over five or five minus one. Fold the ruler out. Next line. Phi, phi plus one. This equals two point six one eight zero three three nine. There's the other cool thing about that. So phi plus one. Equals two point six one eight zero three three nine um, phi squared or phi times phi equals two point six one eight zero three three nine and onwards. So what we've done is we have one phi phi plus one or phi squared. And one over phi or phi minus one. That's what we That's our first top folding out. Now we have the next one, which is phi and phi plus one. So first of all this line would be Two phi, and this line two phi plus one. Firstly, let's look at phi cubed equals two phi plus one. So now we have phi cubed two phi plus one. Two phi plus one phi cubed so now we have with one this being our basic unit which we originally got from the way we set our compass if we set it to inches or centimeters we could put it in proportion uh, to those units but I just chose a, a random unit and now with a few little fold outs. We have not to make a quite you know, nice little addition to any ruler, but that's only the, the beginning. And of course, we also made our traditional set squares as well as a new one of the square root of five and. We're going to use it to make a simplified square root calculator and do that. Okay, we have zero point two 
we've already found, you know, at the standard unit, that's is one one. that would be 2 2 being the square root of 4 so we have 1 and we have 2 we have the square root of 2 Square root of three. Two is also, of course, the square root of four. And we also have the square root of five. So do one, two plus one is three, which is the square root of nine. Now here's a little trick. So we have the uh, square root of two. We're going to double that. So the square root of two times 2 just happens to equal the square root of 8 because the square root of x equals the square root of 4x over 2 so if I double the square root of 3 I will get 4 times 3 so that I would get the square root of 12 so let me do the square root of 3 Double it, and we have the square root of 12. Uh, just to quickly, so I'm saying square root of x is 4x, so the square root of 9, which we know to be 3, should be equal to 4 times 36 over 2 square root of 36 over 2 equals uh, 6 over 2 equals 3. So the square root of 3 times 2 is the square root of 12. The square root of 4 times 2 which of course would be equal to 4 square root of 5 times 2 is the square root of 20. So it's following uh, this basic rule, you can now um, create quite a nice little uh, rule here. So while we're at this, well, we've already done that square root. So so apart from phi, we can also do, um, for more than just the square roots we find in here, we also can do a little, few little calculations and we get the square roots um, going up. Then you can also apply Pythagorean theorem, use this same technique to create some triangles, like a square root of 3, square root of 4 triangle would give you a square root of 7. So that's a, a way you can 
move on and calculate other square roots. This is the old style uh, using geometry and um, math together. But uh, anyway, thank you.